It's time to go shopping on Twitter. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. The future of online shopping could be in social media. Amazon has partnered with Twitter to create a special hashtag that lets you put items in your shopping cart simply by sending a tweet. Here's how it works. First, you have to link up your Twitter account to your Amazon account. And once Amazon knows your Twitter account, anytime someone tweets out a link to an Amazon product, you can reply with the hashtag Amazon cart to put it in your shopping cart. You'll then get a reply tweet from Amazon confirming that it worked. It doesn't mean you bought the item. It just means that it's waiting for you in your shopping cart so you can make the final purchase later. It's so easy for anyone to do this and it could potentially be a new way for Twitter to make money. We don't know how Amazon and Twitter are making money from this. Amazon says Twitter is not taking a cut of sales from items added to the shopping carts with the hashtag. Oh, and for folks in the UK, they don't call it a shopping cart on Amazon. Instead, they use the hashtag Amazon Basket. It's not just Amazon testing new ways to order online. Google just expanded its same-day delivery service called Google Shopping Express. The program first launched in the San Francisco Bay Area last year, and now it expanded to Manhattan and West Los Angeles. When you visit google.com slash express, you'll notice Google partnered with major retailers to sell all sorts of products. You can order basic groceries, a yoga mat, even a 47-inch TV. Customers then choose a delivery time window for that day. Google is promoting this with free delivery for the first six months. And it comes a few days after Amazon announced its same-day delivery service is also expanding to more cities, with 12 in total. On Amazon, to get same-day delivery, it costs an extra $6 on top of the cost of a Prime membership fee. One tech company that's not out to disrupt shopping is Nokia. Yes, there still is a company called Nokia. Microsoft bought the mobile phone and tablet hardware business of Nokia, but there are other pieces to the Finnish company that still remain, like the group that works on Nokia's Here Maps. The Map App team is seeking Android and iOS developers. That means Nokia wants to put its maps on other devices besides Windows. And Nokia's venture capital group announced it plans to invest $100 million into communication technology for cars. It looks like Nokia is rerouting its brand in a new type of mobile direction. That's your tech news update. You can head to CNET.com for more details and follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.